welcome back and it is time for another tutorial. You guys know the drill. We are doing 31 days of tutorials in December, all fun, party themed, appropriate for holiday parties, New Year's, everything from the real simple glamour to the really over the top, almost drag inspired. So because I love makeup, I love a wide variety of looks and I wanted to make this accessible for everybody. So again, we are using just all kinds of different palettes from limited edition to permanent high end to really inexpensive drugstore. And today's palette is the Lorac Pro 2. Now this is a palette that I kind of lusted over for a really long time. And I came home um, the day that I hit a thousand subscribers and Daniel had this one, one of the, this is one of the palettes he had purchased for me um, as a congratulatory present. And I just love it. And I haven't really dug into this palette for anything other than just kind of wearable looks. And I feel like everybody seems to label this palette as a cool toned palette. Well, and while there are some beautiful cool tone shades in here, I find that you can get just as beautiful of a warm tone look. So, so if you are somebody that has this palette in your collection and feel like you can't get a warm look out of it, I wanted to show you just kind of a different option and go a little bit different with this, with this tutorial today. So I hope you guys really enjoy it. If you want to see how I got this look, then stick around and I'll see you after the tutorial. All right guys, so I've already carved out my brows and obviously done my brows because that's really boring and I never wanna make y'all watch that. So now I'm gonna take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm just gonna smooth that all over the lid into the inner corner and this is gonna cancel out any discoloration that I have. It's also gonna give a really nice sticky base for my shadow to cling to, which you just want a really clean palette when doing this kind of structured look. And I'm just gonna take a little concealer brush and I'm just gonna smooth that out to blend in. I just used the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. That's a little bit more pinky. The soft ochre is definitely more yellow. So I'm just gonna blend them together just slightly. All right, now going in with a Coastal Sense BRC S03 brush and the buff shade from the Lorac Pro 2. I couldn't remember what we were using there. I'm just gonna set everything This is gonna help all of your shadow blend out easier. It's also gonna help prevent any creasing in your primer. Even if you've got wrinkly eyelids like me. Now I'm just taking the Wet n Wild Blending Brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Nectar. And I'm just gonna set that, start um, blending out the transition shade. I'm just gonna blend it into buff. This is, if you get on the lid, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We're gonna cover it up anyway. This is an absolutely stunning shade. You can build that up and deepen it up as much as you want. Now picking up a BR uh, 250 brush, I'm gonna go back into the shade light brown. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm just gonna start deepening up the crease. And again, it's gonna really help to transition that green shade up and just create a soft, softer line. And what I'm gonna do with this shadow is I'm kind of doing the S shape where I'm kind of dragging it out to meet the tail of my eyebrow. It's gonna help create the base for that more cat-like look to the eye. All right, you can definitely trace the line um, with a, a lighter eyeshadow if you want, but I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Stila Smudge Stick um, in, this is in Moire, which is just a really beautiful bright kind of olive green with glitter in it. It's really, really gorgeous. And what I'm gonna do is just start really dragging that up into the crease. And again, if you mess up, if you make a mistake, no worries, we can go back in and fix that. And unlike I did with the retro 60s glam, I'm really gonna follow my crease on this one. It's not gonna be such an exaggerated um, above the creep type, crease, above the creep, above the crease type look. And I am going to just match, match the other side. I'm gonna drag this out towards the tail of my eyebrow. Once you've got the shape where you want it, feel free to reiterate it because we're gonna blend that out. All right, now to start blending that out, I'm gonna take my Essence of Beauty Fine Crease Brush and we're gonna go into the shade called Jade, which is gorgeous. And what we're gonna do is start placing that right over Moire and just kind of smudging it out and blending it out. The 
These Stila smudge sticks are waterproof. They do set down, so it is better to do one eye and then the other because it's going to help you smudge them out and blend them out eat more easily. And again, if your shape isn't perfect, that's fine. It's so easy to go back in and clean this up, so do not worry. I'm going to go back in with that BR250 brush, and I'm going to pick up more of that light brown shade. And then, we're, again, we're just going to start blending this out. This, these types of look, looks require a whole bunch of blending, and that is just the key to making sure they're as seamless as possible. Now taking that same brush, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the jade just on the tip of the brush, so I'm not getting a whole bunch, just enough to help reiterate the color, darken it up, and blend it up into light brown. And again, if you get too dark on the inner crease, the outer crease, don't worry, we can go back in and lighten that up. I'm going to go in uh, back in with that nectar shade on the fluffy brush. And then going back in with that BRC S03, I'm going to pick up more of that buff shade and again just kind of lighten up underneath the brow bone. And shades like this, these light kind of brow bone shades are great for erasing color too high in the eye look or lightening up the look. So you just got to play with it until you find a happy medium. Now I'm going to take that same brush and go into the snow shade which has got a little bit of shimmer to it. And again, really brighten up that brow bone. I'm also going to use that down in the inner corner of the eye to help open up that look and blend out those deeper green shades. Now I'm taking just a very, very small detailed brush and I'm picking up more of that jade color. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back in and retrace and reiterate that line. And I'm going to go back in with my fine crease brush with a little bit more of that jade color. And again, just reiterate and deepen up the line, anything that we've lost in blending. And with no more product on that BR250 brush, I'm just going to lightly blend it out. All right, now it's time to cut the crease. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my Come Correct Celebrity Concealer from Wet n Wild. Um, this is in the shade Fair. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. So that's probably too much, but that's fine. And with a concealer brush, I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to start cutting out the crease and really cleaning it up. And again, if you get the concealer up on the mobile or um, above the mobile lid, that's okay. We can go back and fix it. Try not to because it's going to make your life easier, but... It's not a disaster. And taking that same brush, I'm going to go into the rose shade in the palette. And we're going to start packing that over that concealer. Just packing that all over the lid. And again, that concealer is really going to help to make this shade pop and stand out against the green. And now I'm going to pick up that beige shade with the same brush. And I'm just going to pop that right on the very inner corner and start blending it up. And again, I'm just going to take that very small detailed brush and I'm going to go in and clean up the line. All right, everybody, now I'm just going to throw on some liner. For liner today, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild waterproof liner and I'm just going to do a pretty um, substantial cat eye. I'm going to keep it low and keep it straight out. And then I'm, for lashes, I am going to just throw on some mascara and I'm just going to use a pair of Demi Wispies stacked on top of each other. So I'm going to throw those on and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so my eyelash glue is drying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on my um, waterline tight lining and my lower lash line. So for my waterline, I am going to go in with, if I can find it, my Kiss New York Professional Intensify Eyeliner in, this is in Starry Night. And it's a twist up, so I love this. And this stuff, if you have trouble finding um, eyeliners that will last in your waterline as long as you kind of get all of the moisture off your waterline first with a q-tip this will last forever it's so good and I'm going to take this right underneath my um, lash line just a little bit if it's a little messy that is perfectly fine now I'm just going to go in with Moray one more time and we're just going to run that right underneath the lower lash line now I'm going to go in with my Essence of Beauty Fine Crease Brush and we're going to pick up 
just a little bit more of jade and we're going to run that underneath the lash line. Now you can blow this out, you can make it as intense as you want, I always say that. I am going to soften it up, but I really want to make sure that that green is reiterated on the lower lash line. And then I'm just going to take that same brush and we're going to pick up Nectar, and then we're just going to soften it up. And I'm just going to pick up that BRC um, S03 brush, and again just run that lightest shade right underneath. We're kind of mirroring what we did on the upper lash line, or upper lid. Now I'm just going to finish it off with some mascara, just to balance out the upper lashes. Okay guys, so I've zoomed out so we can finish up the rest of the face. This is the NYX Contouring Duo in Double Date. I really like the contouring side. I really am not a fan of this at all, but the contouring shade is really nice, and I'm just going to go in and work on my contour with my BRC S25, or what is this? BRC S25. I can never remember the name of this brush, and I love it. I'm going to take that up around my forehead. Alright, I'm kind of feeling a glowy look today, so I'm going to go into my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I just have it in the light bronze shade. Just with that same brush, I'm just going to kind of blend out my contour with that bronzer shade. Okay, I'm kind of feeling a peachy, orangey type of blush today, so I'm going to go into the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in Might I Buy You a Drink. And again, just with that same brush. All right, everybody, and before I put on my highlighter, I just want to go in and buff everything together to make it look as flawless as possible. So I'm using my very well-loved e.l.f. Kabuki brush, and I'm just going to take, um, I'm not going to dip it into dim light, but I'm just going to take incandescent light and radiant light and just kind of mix them together and just kind of blend everything in. And guys, if you don't have these ambient lighting powders, the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette is a great, great $6 option. Okay, and we're going to kind of keep with the rosy, uh, peachy theme today. So I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to start off with light pink, and this is just my Sephora fan brush. Oh, sorry, and this is the Profusion Highlighting Case. And then I'm going to go in with just a little bit of white pearl and put that on the very tops. Then I'm just going to spray everything down. I'm just going to set my face. I think I'm feeling a nude lip today, so I'm going to go in with my um, Tattoo Junkie Lip Paint in Skinny Dip. All right, everybody, and that's the finished look. All right, everybody, so this is the finished look using the Lorac Pro 2, and I love this palette. I kind of had it in my mind how I wanted this look to go, and I think it just turned out better than I ever expected, so I was really, really excited about that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and I hope for the people out there that are interested in a Lorac Pro palette or um, maybe have it hanging out in your collection and you either prefer warm tones, you know, if you have it in your collection and you feel like you can't get a warm tone look out of it, just know that that is not true. You just got to dig in and play with it, play around with it. Or if you're somebody who likes a mix of warm and cool tones and you don't have a pro palette, this is the one I would recommend because the one and three are both overridingly warm where this one I feel like just has a really beautiful mix along with some gorgeous pops of color. So again, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Be sure to check my channel tomorrow for the next tutorial. But until then, guys, you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time. Bye.